Director General Wu Peng, good to have you on CGTN. Thank you. Africa has always been a diplomatic priority for China. President Xi Jinping has sent a congratulatory message to the African Union Summit, and Foreign Minister Qin Gang visited Africa just after assuming his new post. For 33 years, Chinese foreign ministers have made Africa the destination of their first overseas trip each year. So in your perspective, how would China tackle the global challenges and take the lead in international cooperation with Africa? In year 2013, President Xi Jinping put forth the principle of sincerity, real results, affinity, and good faith during his visit to Tanzania. This year marks the 10th anniversary. In recent years, joint projects of highways, electricity, communication, and polls span across Africa under the framework of FOCAC. African agricultural products like avocado and fresh pears have entered the Chinese market. China has remained Africa's largest trading partner for 13 years in a row. Today, China embarks on a new journey to build a modern socialist country. The African countries embraces the 60th anniversary of Organization of Africa Union. Africa is a big stage for international cooperation, not an arena for major power rivalry. We welcome the international community to expand support for Africa. It should be based on the real needs of Africa and also contribute to the peace and the development of Africa.